How to create domino effects in Blender using rigid body physics. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create a domino effect in Blender using rigid body physics. Prepare the domino object, open Blender, and start with the default scene. Resize the cube. Select the default cube and press S to scale it. Stretch it out to resemble a domino. You can scale it along the Z axis to make it taller, or adjust the X and Y axis to change its width and depth. Duplicate the cube. To create multiple dominoes, press Shift plus D to duplicate the cube. Move the duplicated cubes along the X axis, press G and then X, to line them up like a row of dominoes. Repeat this process to create as many dominoes as you want. Step 2. Apply rigid body physics. Select the first domino. Click on rigid body to add physics to the object. This will make the object interact with the environment in a more realistic way. Press play. Press spacebar or click the play button in the timeline. You should see the domino fall immediately due to gravity. Press shift plus A and choose mesh greater than plane to add a flat surface underneath the dominoes. Position the plane. Move the plane beneath the row of dominoes by pressing G and then Z to place it at the bottom of the domino stack. Test the fall. Press spacebar again to test the fall of the dominoes. They should fall, but the objects might go through the plane. Go to the Physics Properties tab and click on Rigid Body. Change the type from Active to Passive. Now, the dominoes should fall onto the plane without falling through it. Copy the Rigid Body settings to All Dominoes. Select All Dominoes. Copy Physics Settings. While all dominoes are selected, hold Shift and click the first domino the active one that has the rigid body settings. In the rigid body section, click on copy from active. This will apply the same rigid body settings to all selected dominoes. Position the first domino to trigger the effect. Select the first domino. Go to the first frame of the timeline, frame one. Move the first domino, select the first domino and move it slightly out of its starting position. Press play, press space bar to start the animation. The first domino will fall, and the rest will follow in a chain reaction. Adjust the speed of the simulation. Optional. Go to the Scene Settings. In the Scene Properties tab, the one that looks like a cone, scroll down to the Rigid Body World section. Adjust the speed. Under the Settings section, change the speed value to adjust how fast the dominoes fall. A lower value will slow down the animation, and a higher value will speed it up. Your dominoes should now fall in sequence, one after another, creating a fun domino effect. Congratulations! Thank you for watching, and I hope you learned something new in this tutorial.